Good morning, Raphael. Let's begin with our Wednesday morning prayer. Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning and letting us see a brand new day, we thank you. You have promised that when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High and shelter under the shadow of your wings, that you would guard and guide us and protect us and keep us. For you are our refuge and our fortress. Please put your hedge of protection around us and place a guard at our doors. Father, keep our hearts from fear and fill us with overflowing love and protection and peace that passes all understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's have a great day, Raphael. It's time to get our day started. Good morning, Rayfield. It is another great day here at Rayfield, and we are continuing our training and our lessons as it relates to self-discipline. Earlier in the month and last month, we started a reading 
a lesson about self-discipline and mental dynamite. Those lessons had to do with self-control. And so we're gonna continue our lessons on self-control because they are very important. It is important for you to control what you are doing, what you are saying, and the behavior that you are displaying in the school environment, the home environment, wherever you are, it is important to control yourself. And the way that you do that is mentally control yourself. You know that we just got finished with one of our progress ceremonies, that everyone received tons of certificates and accolades for all the hard work that you've been doing here at Rayfield. And we wanna continue growing, learning, and changing. Remember, um, those are one of the things that I shared with you through the progress ceremonies this year um, that grandma taught me. And I feel so fortunate that you guys had the opportunity to know my mom so that when I talk about her, you'll know that what I'm saying is true because you knew her as well. And she was kind of tough. When we talk about mental dynamite, she was definitely mentally dynamite. I remember one of the things she would always say is don't embarrass me. And she said that from the time I was a little girl up until now. I have six brothers and sisters and it was so amazing that when I hear them talk about her past and the things that she taught them was always encouraging, always leading to success, always believing in yourself, not um, doing things that you don't finish, start what you finish, she would always say. And that's very important, guys. Mental dynamite, self-control, is very important. So I was reading this book. In fact, I shared some of this book with grandma, with you guys, and all of the um, events that went into the pandemic. The pandemic forced us to learn some things, even what we're doing right now, the virtual school. And even though the majority of folks have returned to school, we are still gonna continue the virtual school because it's so great. It is our way of talking to everyone every day, and I love it. So as we move forward this month, throughout the rest of this month, we wanna continue our lessons on mental dynamite and self-control. I don't know if you remember, so I'm gonna refresh your memory. One of the things that we talked about is self-discipline. And we talked about how self-discipline begins. Self-discipline begins with uh, seven positive emotions and then also with seven negative emotions. So let me refresh your memory about the seven positive emotions. Love, hope, sex, faith, enthusiasm, loyalty, and desire. Let me say that again. Love, hope, sex, faith, enthusiasm, loyalty, and desire. Those are the seven positive emotions. And now there are also seven negative emotions. Fear, jealousy, hatred, greed, revenge, anger, and superstition. Let me say those again. Fear, jealousy, hatred, revenge, greed, anger, superstition. Those are seven negative emotions. So guys, as we progress through this lesson, I wanna to talk to you now about these different emotions individually. All of these emotions are states of the mind. They are subject to control and subject to direction by you. You control your mind. 
You direct your mind. They are subject to control and direction by you. I want you to know, folks, that only you can control what happens in your head. You have to be in control of yourself at all times. So if you're displaying a positive emotion like love, faith, hope, loyalty, desire, you control that. And in addition, if you are displaying emotions like hatred, jealousy, and fear, you also control that. We don't want to have those types of bad emotions displayed. We want to exhibit self-control and display our good emotions. So as we progress through this lesson, I want to share with you the seven positive emotions can sometimes be destructive if you don't have them organized. And I know that's a little different. How can you be destructive when you're displaying love, hope, enthusiasm, loyalty? How can that be destructive? That's a little different, isn't it? Well, if we use those things the wrong way, that can also be destructive. So we're gonna have to learn how to use the positive emotions and we certainly have to learn to always be in control of the negative emotions. Failure to do that, failure of that experience, intelligence, intentions can alter and modify our lives forever if we don't have control of these things. So let's keep working moving forward. I have some things that I wanna show you on the board behind me about these emotions. Good morning, Rayfield. We are back again this morning and we are going to revisit and continue our lesson on self-discipline. I shared with you yesterday that we are in a series of lessons on how to deal with managing yourself. Self-discipline is extremely important and we are going to really talk about it. We're gonna really understand it and we're gonna spend a lot of time on self-discipline. Self-discipline, controlling yourself. I explained to you yesterday that there are seven positive emotions that go along with self-discipline. Those positive emotions are love, sex, hope, faith, enthusiasm, loyalty, and desire. Those are the seven positive emotions. Then I also explained to you that there are seven negative emotions that deal with your self-discipline. The negative emotions are fear, hatred, greed, anger, jealousy, revenge, and superstition. Okay, I need you guys to let's get them down, packed. Fear, hatred, greed, anger, jealousy, revenge, superstition. Those things even sound negative. They sound negative and they are negative. So we need to learn how to discipline ourselves as it relates to these things. Let's go back. Positive, love, sex, hope, faith, enthusiasm, loyalty, desire. Negative, Fear, hatred, greed, anger, jealousy, revenge, superstition. So anytime you are dealing with someone or something and you notice that the person is fearful, I fear for my life or I'm in fear of something that's going on. I'm concerned that something is going on. I'm fearful. That is a negative emotion. And I have to tell you something about fear. I even have a scripture for it. God does not give us the spirit of fear. That is a spirit that comes from negative emotion. 
Negative is fear. So as we work through these different types of emotions, I'm going to teach you and train you on how self-discipline plays a role in these emotions. So let's get going. All right, guys, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about the subconscious mind. We're in lessons related to self-control. Your mind rules everything. What you think, what you feel, how you behave is ruled by your subconscious mind. So we're gonna learn about the subconscious mind so that we can learn more about self-discipline and how to manage ourselves under every single circumstance. Okay, so the six departments of the mind. So this week, guys, you're going to see me in character. I am going to teach you through character about the six departments of the mind, of the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the link between the mind and intelligence, okay? The six departments of the mind, the link between the mind and intelligence. There are six departments of the mind. The first department of the mind is the ego. The ego, I know that you have all heard that word, ego. What does ego mean? Well, the ego is the seat of power. The ego is the supreme court of your mind. It holds all the power. It takes precedent over all other departments in your mind. The supreme court, just think about it. The judge, the jury, the execute, the supreme court, like the Supreme Court of the United States. The Supreme Court of the United States is over all of the laws and rules of the United States. So the ego, the Supreme Court of our mind is that Supreme Court in charge of, of the six other departments in your head. Number two, the emotions. Now I know you all are familiar with emotions. Emotions are when you laugh, ha, 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 ha. And when you cry, when you're angry, all of these are emotions. The emotions are the seat of action, power in the mind. Your emotions bring about how you behave. Your emotions are going to move you forward with whatever the situation you are in and how you act. Number two is emotions. Number three, the faculty of reason. Gotta think about some things. What exactly does that mean? Your reasoning, seat of judgment and opinions. Your reasoning brings about how you feel, how you judge things, how you reason things, what your opinions are. Number four, your imagination. Your imagination is your ideas and your plans. Where are you going in life? What you wanna be? Your ideas, your plans, your imagination. I just imagine that I can be queen of everything. Imagination. Conscience, your conscience. I know you've heard that before. What does conscience mean? Conscience is number five in the six departments of the mind. Your conscience is your moral guide. And I always think about conscience is what you do when no one is looking. Who you really are, your conscience. Number six, memory. Do I remember what happened yesterday? Do I remember what happened years past? Do I remember that I'm supposed to wear my Rayfield shirt every day? Do I remember when I was five years old and I had my birthday party with all my friends over? 
memory. Your memory is the keeper of records in your mind. Your memory is very, very important. It helps you progress through the day. You have to remember to get up in the morning to get ready to go to school. You have to remember to brush your teeth, wash your face, and do your activities of daily living. To put on your deodorant, your shoes, your socks, you have to remember those things. And even though it seems like your memory may be a small part of the world, your world, your conscious mind, it is a big part of your subconscious mind. So there are so many things in these departments that we're going to go through each department of the subconscious mind and we're going to work through each department individually. And I am going to be in character, so you're gonna see me dress differently as I display to you the six departments of your subconscious mind. Let's get ready, guys. It's gonna be an interesting week, even for me, because I have to dress up in all these costumes. But I want you to really, really get it. And I want you to remember the six departments of your subconscious mind, how you use them to control your self-discipline. It is extremely important how you control yourself. So in order to do that, you have to know which of your departments to use to get yourself under control. I'm very excited about these lessons because I know that they are going to help move you forward in life. They are going to help you to grow and to change and to learn more about yourself and how to be a better person and how to control yourself in all situations. Sometimes, and I gotta say this before I close this lesson, we just have to be quiet and observe. Sometimes when things are out of control as we feel, sometimes we just have to sit still. I call it, let go, let God. I also call it sometimes we have to keep it moving, but quietly. Just quiet down, get yourself under control, count to 10, take your walk, whatever your way of dealing with yourself is, getting yourself under control, and let your subconscious mind do its work. Sometimes we're so busy yakety yak talking that we're not listening. Sometimes we're saying the same thing that someone else is saying and it appears that we're arguing when we're really on the same page. So this set of lessons, your subconscious mind, the six departments of your subconscious mind is a really, really great lesson in self-discipline. Remember that we are working through mental dynamite and right now the six departments of your, of your mind and your subconscious mind, ego, emotions, reason, imagination, conscious, and memory, we're gonna go through each one of these individually and learn how we can better manage ourselves during any type of event, activity, no matter what's going on. Here at Rayfield, we have control of ourselves. We have self-discipline. We are Rayfield strong because we have self-discipline and we're controlling our subconscious mind. I'm excited about these lessons. I'm excited to share with you how we can work through them and how we can be better people. I'm also excited that we finished our uh, progress ceremony and so many of you learned so many great things about yourself and how your teachers feel about you and you were rewarded. You were appreciated. You were shown that we care here at Rayfield. So let's get started on our lessons about the subconscious mind.